everyone. I'm just sitting at boats and barrels. And today's video is about the special assault responder workshop that I attended. I will read it my experience about what the workshop taught me. So let's wait for more people to come in before I begin talking about my experience. I really want to encourage a lot of people to attend this workshop because the numbers of such assault victims are actually increasing and we need a lot of people to support them. Hi everyone. Well, before I start, I would like to say something about Bones and Barrels. It's a very awesome hangout place. It plays both Bollywood and Western music. They serve awesome kind of food. Later, I will post pictures of what kind of food they serve. Hi, Pawati. And this is a very chill out area. Let me um, show you the surroundings of this area while we wait for more people to come in. Hi, hi, Astrid. Uh, hi, everybody who has just joined in this video. Again, let me um, iterate about what this video is all about. It's about my experience at the Sexual Assault Responder Workshop. I will relate what they actually taught me. And this video is actually to encourage more people to join because there have been a number of assault cases that have been increasing yearly and we actually need more supporters to come and help these victims and how you are going to help these victims but well, this workshop is actually going to teach you but i would give you a bit of tips of how to approach them but i will allow the rest of the instructors to coach you if you are attending the workshop itself all right Hi everyone. So let's begin. On the 25th of September, I attended a workshop called the Sexual Respondent Workshop. It's a workshop that teaches you how to approach sexual assault victims, how to help them overcome their trauma now the four main principles of this workshop is it is not their fault what happened whatever happened to them it is not their fault it is their choice to share their story with us and we journey with them through their experience and we give them their fullest support. Now, AWARE is trying to achieve a zero tolerance in this matter. So they have come up with a campaign called AIM for Zero. Right now, 808 cases have been reported to them. So their target to have as many as many responders to this situation 
is by creating a course called the sex 